Welcome back to another episode of Triple Threat, a podcast dedicated to the ins and outs of women's wrestling. Today, we are going to be going into NXT Battleground in Massachusetts. Woo! Massachusetts, where we're at. And we're going to talk about Clash. Nope. Night of Champions. I keep mm-hmm. messing up the names of these pay-per-views, but you know what it is. It's in the title of the podcast. Uh, I am joined by my gorgeous friends and stunning artists and drag artists. Uh, Onyx and Zane, say hi. How are you doing? What's going on? Oh, and friend of the pod, Max, is right there. Hi, Max. Yes, enemy of the pod. <laughs> enemy of the pod because, go into the story. What is this story? You got, <laughs> something happened last night. Our group chat was filled with it. I don't know what's going on, but I want to know the tea. It's really not much of a story. Well, I, I just want to know. <laughs> bitch, they, they pulled the Roxy Andrews on me. I was left. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I went to Providence for a few giggies. It was really cute. I got to see everybody. Um, we were kicking, had a good time. Um, Keenan and Maxwell went home early, like a little not earlier, like earlier. It was like one o'clock or whatever, right? Um, wait, wait, wait. Um, Onyx is Keenan, in case anybody's wondering. Oh, yeah, sorry. that's like the, that's a fun fact Ooh. of the po- it will come up at the bottom of the screen. Here is the. Onyx <laughs> is Keenan. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Onyx and Max went home early, and then I think I stayed out to hang out with like Civil since she was like visiting from New York, and I showed her and her friend, and they were make, they they were burping on some dicks. Continue. Yeah, I was making out with her friend a lot. Um, it was cute. It was so cute. He has nice lips. Um, but I showed them around Providence. Went to Dark Lady. Went to Ego. We walked outside Ego because they don't let people in after one. I forgot about that. Um, and then went to st- Stable, and then we went to the Eagle, and then we got Frisky Fries after. And then they're like, oh, let's drop you off. And I'm like, okay, drop me off. Max ain't picking up. Onyx ain't picking up. It's about, like, I was out there, like, waiting for, like, I, at this point, I was like, y'all have to go drive back to New York. Y'all can leave. I'll be fine. I'm like, oh, are you sure? I was like, yeah, it's totally cool. I was out there for, like, an hour, maybe, like, an hour and a half, and I was like... My phone's at 14%. I gotta go home. And I just got an Uber home <laughs> from Providence to Boston. Oh, wow. Now. Now your side of the story. <laughs> now. So here's some backstory. It's literally the same story. And I profusely apologize because I felt so bad. I literally woke up and I saw that the last call I got from Zane was like, I no, I know exactly. It's like 28 minutes ago because I was gagged because i was literally by my door i thought i was awake i put on some uh fail videos so i could laugh so i wouldn't fall asleep <laughs> so, listen you to know about me one thing i'm gonna do is fall if i'm tired i'm gonna fall asleep wherever i am also <laughs> also one Sitting thing down. about you is that you're gonna play the fail videos after a long night i know that's always the thing we did back in the day what we do still to this day is that we'll play those either a tiktok compilation fail video a um what was the old vine thing before tiktok vine vine yes <laughs> and we would always play them when we were shit faced after the clubs yeah oh, and that's, that's the other thing the whole day so i had a gig too we both did drive me to the theater it was great zane looked amazing their performance was amazing i was a yeehaw cowgirl I oh wait was that hot. wait was that the look um zane that you were wearing like the printed like boobs on the dress the black it and was white everything video. right oh it you can everything. fuck off right now that was so hot i mean you both looked hot but like zane that was one of my favorite looks you've ever done it was it was amazing so because of that, I was doing drag all day. I hadn't had anything to eat, but I had multiple drinks by that time, baby. I was Ooh. on one. So we were leaving because we were at um, Planeta, go support Planeta. <laughs> they didn't know what Planeta meant. It Again, meant. leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> it means planet. And um, we, were, we were leaving, and they was like, um, yeah, I'm just going to be here, whatever. Like, is it cool if y'all let me in? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, I'll be up. Because Planeta, like, ends around one. So I thought Sister was going to be, like, ready to go and back by one. And I, I checked my phone, and it was past one. I was like, oh, it's fine. Let me put on a fail video. Let me, let me stay up. And... Oh, that's when it clocks out. That fail video comes on, and you're like... <sighs> I woke up, I, call, I called Casey as, as about as, sorry, Casey is Zane. Fun fact, Casey is Zane. 
and I also to uh, about to, it. <laughs> to complicate things more, my name is now also Casey. So there is two Casey's here on the pod. <laughs> Keenan, Casey, Casey is. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, go on. Um, I called Zane about as many times as they called me when they couldn't get into my house. Um, I was knocked out like, over. <laughs> and they were like, oh, I Ubered. And then I, <laughs> I sent them a hot $50 because I felt so bad. And I just kept texting them like throughout the night and the next day like, hey, I'm really sorry. I'm going to make it up. I'm sorry. And they were like, I fucked up a lot. It's fine. And I was like, yeah, but you don't understand. Like, I actually like you. Like, <laughs> I, like, <laughs> like I don't like a lot of people. Like, I actually like you. I'm really sorry. That's and really nice, though, that you that. gave the money. That's cute. Well, yeah, because, well, I know how much I got paid for my gig. And all I'm saying is, you came all the way from Boston. <laughs> Wait, so what was the gig that you guys were dressed up for? Drag me to the yeah. theater? At Columbus Theater, hosted by Pulp and Adriana, and that's Adriana Drag on Twitter. Fuck, I wish I would have gone. Every time it's one of those good-ass shows, I always miss it, because I'm like, I'll find out either on this podcast, or I'll find out the day before, and I'm like, fuck, I want to go, because I miss, like, if you are a resident of, like, around the East Coast, you need to go to a Pulp show, you need to see Adriana, um, or just, like... Those are, like, my tops. Well, not yeah. like that, but, like, they're really good <laughs> at drag here. Like, love them very much. Friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. Yeah, with all, the, like, the visuals, like, in the background, everything was, like, all the performances were stunning. Every single one. I saw the clips. I was like, damn. And you guys both performed, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hot. That's hot. Well, damn. Well, I'm like a fake a friend. Star, girl. No, what? you're a real friend, and you look great right now. Oh, speaking of real friends... Hello, hello, Nem. Um, how are you feeling? Would love you like this. Um, yourself? <laughs> this this is definitely our running introduction. Yeah, hi, I'm Nem. I run the pod here. I do the editing. I write the <laughs> outlines. I do the social media. I I run, I'm the back end over here. I tell my friends to show up and look pretty, and that's all I do. I mean, I do, do that half the time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I made this shirt. Um, it's for my Harley Quinn cosplay. I know the sh- the. These aren't hemmed. What is this? The sleeve isn't hemmed, but I made this cute little top because I had no gold and it's we said we were going to do gold. Oh my god, we f- I forgot we were doing gold. Oh, outfit reveal. <laughs> it's no tea, it's no tea. I mean, like, literally, I... you guys have stuff to do. Like, I tell you guys, like, literally, my full time job is content creation. So, like, I know that if you can't show up in. Full drags, it's no tea. I mean, we're podcasting for fuck's sake. This is just for the bonus content. Is this not full drag to you? Sorry, your drag is valid, but I think I I need a lash next time. I need a good 301 just stacked on your eye. They're on my eyebrows. (laughs) Can't see it. You should be wearing camouflage too. (laughs) Wait, we should do a camouflage pod that we just wear camo. That would be kind of hot. Then no one could see us. Exactly. <laughs> Podcasting. Selling invisible content. So, first of all, we have a lot to get to under this pod. So this pod is going to be a long, lengthy one. I was pausing to for an inappropriate joke there, but it's okay. And it's no tea. It's fine, you guys. It's literally fine. <laughs> oh, <dicks. laughs> oh, woo! Penis. Uh, but let's talk about a couple of things before we start. So if you are a consumer of WWE and women's wrestling, I think you've heard the whisperings in the last couple of weeks of some budget cuts that are coming. So I wanted to address that. I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to talk about our predictions. Who do you think is getting the chop? Like, who do you think, if you could pick one, or maybe we can discuss a couple picks, is getting from the roster very soon? Tegan Ox. Yeah, I was literally... The way you said that, because you knew I was going to say it. <laughs> yeah, that was... Mm, I mean, we were talking before the podcast. Uh, I think Lacey Evans. Yeah, if she loses, like, in less than five minutes in her qualifier... It- if she's not in money in the bank, she's gonna she she's gonna have to worry. She's gonna she should start looking into AEW. Ooh. Well stop wrestling. I don't know. 
Yeah, oh. she has she has a baby. She can go take care of it. What did she do in that carriage? She stole a carriage. Stole a carriage. Miss Carriage Justin. Oh. <laughs> um, I think since you said Tegan and you said Lacey, I'm gonna say something very controversial, yet very brave, but after oh. Night of Champions, I think Natty might be leaving soon. She can't. She well, she literally can't because she trains the girls. Well, I don't know. Like, she might if I don't know. I mean, you might not like let her go, but they would let her go like as a wrestler and just keep her on as like talent backstage. Yeah, they did that with That's Santana they, Garrett. With, uh, Finley. Like, fit, like Finley was like a wrestler, and then they just put him backstage. And same thing with um Natty's boyfriend or husband, TJ. Yeah. Yeah, I I just don't. Really cute. I just, and Tamina. Tamina, like, what are they doing with Tamina? I think it would be good if they actually told them, we're not going to have you wrestle anymore, but we're going to have you go to the PC and train the girls, because I think they would be amazing trainers, and they would uplift a lot of... And, like, if they had to do anything in NXT to uplift talent, I think that could be cute. Yeah. But Honestly, after her showing, I'm like, I'm scared for Natty. I have another prediction, and I don't... My prediction is I don't... I think there's a chance they might not touch the women's division, other than, like, Tegan Knox. That's everybody, fair. Everybody else has a role right now, which is we. Oh, no. Okay. Y'all. What? Dana. Don't say, don't. We can't put that no, onto the universe. No. Be fair. Yeah. If they, like, go to Dana, I, would, I think she would do well somewhere else. You think? Like, DNA and AEW would definitely use her properly. I like, see it. I like wasn't her and um what's her name a tag team? Her and Emma? Like put those yeah. back together. Why not? I think I think they might be. They still haven't done anything with the tag division. They brought the NXT tag titles up and they still haven't done shit. Oh my god, if we're gonna dissect that, that could go on for so but oh, that could, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could literally go on for hours, but also oh, like yeah. the fact that we just had this pay-per-view we're going to be discussing is called Night of Champions, and the tag titles are being defended at Raw the next day. I'm like, how does that make sense? Those titles are cursed, sister. Oh. Like like everyone who's had them in the past few months is injured. Injured like my, or gone? My girl what? really needed to. Who's gone? Liv. Dakota, Liv. Um, hold on, I had a Liv. whole spreadsheet of this. They're injured, not gone. But Ronda like they're injured. And, and Shayna. Oh yeah, Rhonda and, and Shayna, Shayna got injured. It's a curse. It's actually a curse. Aaliyah. Aaliyah, yes. Like, oh my God, wait, she's gonna get fired. Stop. Wait, we should have said oh. her boots. Yeah, uh, it should have been Aaliyah down, sister. Oh my, wait, but she was like, well, mm, do you see her hanging out with Liv? Yeah, they're, they're like friends. Love that for them. Right. Well, they'll be hanging out a lot more if Aaliyah gets the chop with Liv recovering from her arm. Yeah, allegedly, I don't know if you saw online, I know we have some direct sources about the matter, but I read somewhere online that uh, she's going to be out through the summer. And like... Yeah, that's what I was a little sus about, because I'm like, okay, I'm not going to, like, air anybody's dirty laundry, but considering Onyx literally has gotten intel from the source that the injury wasn't that bad, and all of these sources out of whatever are just, like, guessing, like, how are they... I know they're not text and live and Kiki in. <laughs> yeah. I think they're just guessing. Like, you have actual, like, you have talked to live, so it's not... I find that very bizarre, so... We'll see how that shakes down. What did you say? Oh, I just said me too. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think we have to worry too much. I liked that she the other day was like on Twitter saying, oh, I'm working hard for you guys. Everybody's like speculating that maybe she'll come back faster, which is, I hope so. I'm also like, how come every time someone gets injured, they're just like automatically off TV? Wait. Like, no offense, Britt Breaker literally had an injury and was still the champion, was on TV every week. Like, Damage Control still could use Dakota in some way or form. Liv could still be there in some way or form. Doesn't mean you have to take them off TV. Yeah, you're right. I think... 
Well, Jamie Chris had a fucking broken knuckle and was still women's champion, knocking Nidia out. Like she had a broken leg and was tied to a chair in the middle of the ring. Well, Jamie Hader just had a match yesterday with mm-hmm. Tony, and Jamie's fully injured. I don't know how long the match was, but she had a match while she was injured. But that's AEW, and they're weird about their injuries. Like I don't know, it's very yeah, bizarre. Tony Rhodes literally wrestled with a huge like chest thing is bruised pack yes, the... the way that was happening the entire time and i thought it was just like makeup on his chest i was like that's a really good makeup job like i was like fully live streaming it too like no edits or anything i was like wow that's really good like when me and zane went to makeup school we couldn't even do stuff that lasted that long i was like oh it's an actual injury that's really no. awkward but poor guy He's yeah so hot He's so hot have you seen the video of him from back in the day like when he was in the ring and it was like a joke era and he was like shaking his butt and people use it as a yeah. meme. This podcast is just me telling you to send me things on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> also, the other day on the timeline, I saw someone use Austin Theory's whole video as a fan cam of him spreading it and like Aisha Erotica was playing in the background. <laughs> I'll send it. Hey, Austin Theory has a whole video? Oh yes, my god! <laughs> We talked about it on the podcast. I've I, everybody. Audience, no, I I've think we talked. I thought I think we talked yeah. about it for the bonus content, and Zayn had to leave again. Oh, I know he had like pee pee, but not like. No, boo-boo. he's fully like up like this, like spreading like, it like arch that. Back, like like Austin I don't know. Theory. Yes. Yes. Like like face in it full. Yes, and it's this, it's this nice. entire podcast is you sending us things. Yes, yes. exactly. I'm gonna send you the fan cam, the video, and all of the. He's like fully like sucking his finger and like do, like he's like licking the camera. It is like Ooh, I don't know. Four. I don't know, but like That's he has a literally, girlfriend. Literally. <laughs> Wait, Zane. He does this with his finger. He goes <laughs> and after spreading his hole. Does he put it in? Put something I'm, in his butt? I like think his so. finger? No, not in his butt, he but he was sucking it? his finger, like... Oh. Mm. But it's whole out, it's it's twerking. Oh, he was really making it clap, too. Like, there was another video of him, like, arched on, on the bathroom floor, like, making it... it... Oh, fully. Yes. You know it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was, um... It's, one of, it's, it's a legacy piece of the pod. <laughs> 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 my signature piece that I, I tell everybody about. It's not even my business, and people are always up on the TL. Like, I think we talked about it after the podcast because everybody was on the on Twitter saying, Oh, don't spread someone's pictures, it's not your business, blah blah blah. No, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Except if you're gonna spread oh, them, you can friends. send them to me. <laughs> so, anyways, let's segue to uh what is it Speaking called? Holes. Yeah, holes. <laughs> it was in Lowell Hole, Massachusetts. Are we starting there? Are we starting with um Battleground? We might as well, I think. I think it's better to and then cool. we'll talk about it in the because it's gonna be really quick. Uh so it was it's called Battlegrounds, right? Why can I not remember it? It's Battlegrounds. NXT Perfect. Battlegrounds. So if you are a I know there are some members of our streaming and love to listen to our pod and learn about wrestling battleground was the final match of a tournament for the nxt women's championship after it was what do they call it when they drop the title they have to when they're injured they vacate. have to vacate, vacate relinquish the title because of injury indy hartwell was our champion for about i think like 30 days and she got an injury so she had to relinquish the title and they had a tournament for the women to compete to get back to it and our competitors for the final are lyra valkyrie and tiffany stratton how do you think of those as the final i think it's lyra valkyria <laughs> just say lyra <laughs> yeah just say lyra i i literally I- always mess up her name boots why was it lyra why was she in the finale? Like, why wasn't it Roxanne? I Lyra is a great wrestler, but like, she doesn't have that like that. She never. She hasn't connected with the crowd yet. She just hasn't done much. I know, and that was the craziest thing to me because like her, 
her being Tiffany, Tiffany and Cora had such like heat going into it. it like yeah. I know it would have been heel versus heel, but like still, like the crowd was cheering for Tiffany at the event. I don't think it would have mattered who is heel or who is who is face. Tiffany got cheered, yeah. like, and Miss Lyra is supposed to be the face, which is insane. But because he hasn't been there. If it was like if it was Tiffany and Cora. That would have been less, like, no one would have known which way it would have gone, because it wouldn't, like, obviously they've been there for, like, the longest, or not longest, but they've been there for a while, they built mm -hmm. up their characters, they know who they are, and they connect with the crowd, so even though they're both heels, people would have not known, like, bitch, this can go either way. I know. Well, and during the match, too, I was like, <sighs> I... Lyra was not getting it together. Like, there were so many botches for her, and I felt bad, because, like, it's not like I'm rooting for her downfall. I was rooting for Tiffany, and I think you can yeah. obviously cheer <laughs> for somebody and not tear someone else down, so I was trying to do that, but it was really hard because she kept botching. Also, like, I'm not even trying to be, like, Tiffany's biggest stan, which I am, oh, but I there were moments that... Lyra was making Tiffany mess up and it was making me mad. I was like, stop. There was one moment Tiffany got up and she was trying to do like, I think she was trying to do a modified version of her second rope moonsault and Tiffany fell off the ropes on top of Lyra and they cut the cameras away from it. I'll post the video somewhere, but it was yeah. so, it looked bad. Like she fell, like she fell, bitch. Yeah, uh, uh, Lara did that with her match. Ma yeah, her match with um, like the match she had she had before this in order to qualify. I remember she had some botches too. She always has some botches. She tries to do the most. Well, wasn't she in NXT UK and now she's here? No. I just don't think she has chemistry with the girls because she hasn't been there that long. Do you think that they had the final match with Tiffany be? Lycra because uh <laughs> sorry because they want to say like an actual like good championship match for like another pay-per-view like battleground is like one of the big pay-per-views like it's not and i know that but like this is the end of like a tournament type thing i feel like they're trying to like build up for like the actual champion or or I'm making excuses and this was just a bad call. I don't I mean WWE isn't really known for making bad calls a lot. Well, Yo. it's also like are you are we supposed to believe that Cora Jade isn't going to go for the title for the next however long Tiffany is champ? It's like Right. I don't think Cora Jade was going to win it all to be honest. I she thought she was going to be at then. least in the finals. Like I it's no tea. I love Tiff. I love Rox, friend of the pod Roxanne, but I really thought it was going to be Cora and Tiff, and I thought Cora was going to take it. And then when Cora lost, I was like, oh, oh. Who, who did Cora lose to? It was Valkyrie, right? Yeah, it was Lyra. And she injured, and after the match, she injured her leg, which I guess they did to make. Oh, it was a storyline of her breaking her leg into the Tiffany match? No, like, yeah. So after the match, Lyra um, and Cora, Cora Jade attacked Lyra's leg. So she would be injured for the final round. So I guess they're like, let's do this so it doesn't make like so Lara losing doesn't make her look completely weak because oh. she has an leg. I didn't know that because I didn't watch some of the qualifying matches because I was just assuming that it was gonna be Cora yeah. or Roxy versus Tiff. That's why like in the beginning of the match she like um was like leapfrogged Tiffany and then she like landed on her knee bad. I was like, oh, my knee. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was an actual, I was like, not another girl getting injured. But also, to your point, Onyx, of them saving matches, I think that also reads a little bit true, because a lot of the NXT girls are injured right now. Like, that would be a great caliber match. Sol mm. Ruka, that match between her and Tiff got so much heat, would have been such a good match. <laughs> Did you see a little storyline of the... Uh, um, Nikita Lyons and Wendy Chu and pe um, people getting t attacked in the parking lot. And then Tiffany goes, newsflash, stay out of the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 because, no, she literally said that, and then I only saw that she said that because I saw a tweet from them who, quote, tweeted that video, and it was her in the NXT parking lot, like, damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
It was <laughs> them standing in the NXT parking lot. I know, lot, I was like, like, I better, I took a video when I went to NXT and I went, damn, I better watch out. And this is where they got beat up, girl. <laughs> that storyline literally went nowhere. Also, it it's literally just a parking lot. There's no like set or like filming anything. When you go to the NXT parking lot, it's just a building. Like anybody could walk on the lot. That could have just been some random ass person beating the shit out of the girls. And they always have like random NXT girls just in the background while someone's in pain. And they're like, why aren't you guys doing anything? I know. Like, <laughs> run after that bitch in the hood. Yeah. Get her. Like, why does she have a mask on beating up the it, girls? There is a hooded figure attacking women, though, after their matches. Like, that's, like, another storyline that's going on in NXT. NXT has, like, four women's storylines going on, so pop off for them. But, um, yeah, there's, like, a this I think it's Nikita Lyons, honestly. You I mean, think, but Nikita got beat up by the figure. Yeah, that's why I think it's her. She's, like, Maybe come back and beat everybody up who think. Who she, oh, you she think she staged it, like, because we didn't see the person beat her up? We, you think she, like, pretended to get hit by them and was like, guys, come over here, oh! No, I think, she, no, I think she actually got attacked, but she's coming back as a hooded figure to get revenge on the girls she thinks attacked her. I, I could see that, because I think they want to use Nikita, but I also think, because there's a lot of speculation, a lot of people think it's Blair Davenport because she hasn't been seen on TV Ugh. since the NXT unification yeah. match. So I'd live for both. I think I would prefer Blair just because we haven't seen her in a while. And I would like to see her get her moment. And also because she's coming out as the DLC in 2K23, I think there's... Sense. It's there like tiffany just came yeah. out as dlc in 2k23 she won the title blair coming back i don't know if that's planned very convenient but it's kelly kelly but let's talk about these looks you think it's kelly kelly in a corset with her pregnant <laughs> belly of twins <laughs> Fuck, i forgot she was fully pregnant okay with twins she's having a boy and a girl uh naming them kelly and kelly <laughs> Work, work. Wait, that's everything. I would eat. That would eat. I would. I would love. And then wait. The the nope. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna make a Kellen Quinn joke, but I didn't want to gender Kelly Kelly's babies, even though we just did. But it's whatever. <laughs> I think Kelly's a unisex name. Kelly is like a unisex name. There's. Yeah, but I was gonna relate it to Kellen Quinn, like Sleeping with Sirens singer. Do you know who that is? Oh yes. Did you know he? Oh, sorry. Sorry, you just asked Zayn who the singer from Sleeping with the Sirens is. Yeah, and? <laughs> what? Continue. Um, did you know that Kellen Quinn did music in the new Sonic game? No. No? Oh, girl, so I'm sending it to you after this. You will. You would perform it down, Zayn, like, fully. It's so good. Is it better than the Sonic Heroes song? Oh, that one's a bo- Oh, I don't know. It, it kind of goes what even for me. What goes up must calm down. Yeah, Need my feet don't press the ground. ground. <laughs> that song's a bo- Wait, yeah. we need to perform that. Wait, together, like all three of us. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles. Uh, who's who? Zane, you get first pick because you're always the booger one. Listen, you're always a place to Sarah Logan and not Sonya. Sonya's gorge now, but I'm always the might as well just be Knuckles. Wait, but he's hot though, boo. Yes, I was like, wait, what's oh. wrong with Knuckles? It's fully Knuckles, um, Sonic, and them your tails. That's team. <laughs> it that's just fits. Team. We didn't even talk about the match. Oh. <laughs> The match was just like okay. It, it, it was, like, I'm fine. honestly, honestly, like I love Tiff, but this was not her best showing. But it's not her fault. I just don't think they had great chemistry. But going back to what Onyx said, let's talk about the outfits. Oh my god, yes. Please. Fuck. Um, I can I say something before we talk about the outfits? I cannot. I have to burp. <laughs> I cannot podcasting. I cannot get behind all of the extra accessories in when you're wrestling like i love makeup artistry but we're wrestling you're gonna wrestling. get if i was wrestling in a gorgeous white like attire or like baby pink and someone came out with either Rhea ripley's drippy drips or valkyrie's little gold accoutrements and got it all over my outfit oh i'd be plucked zillad plucked 
that cheap the the gold flake for Michaels. Also, not you mispronouncing both their names. <laughs> what did I say? Rhea and Valkyrie. Bye. <laughs> Podcasting. Podcasting. Um, um, yeah, but no, Tiffany looks as, 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 excellent. Excellent. The pigtails. Oh, the pink the and the pigtails black. With, with the with a little bobo of cuc- kookamas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, like, the zigzag stitch, like, little quick uh, quilted pink top with the fire sleeve. Honestly, wait. I, I fully not even saying that because we're right here it's talking to each other but like that was kind of like the fusion of you guys like your drags together like I loved like the mesh and the like drippy drops which is very Zane's like aesthetic and then like the ponytails and the pink is very onyx like your drag persona is fused into one loved it and that's why she's a heel exactly Honestly. <laughs> she's one of the only good heels in the company right now I'll say it which is wild no she is and listen while Liv is out right now this is a Tiffany Stan podcast. Yes, literally. Exactly. Uh, mm, I'm trying to think of the attires. Obviously, Tiffany outsold. Definitely going to install that in 2K23. Shout out to anybody who makes it. Oh, like, please, yeah. please. Please need it. And she's also in the game. Stunning. Have you downloaded her yet? No. Of course. She just got patched in. Amazing. Also, really annoying that her prettiest moonsault ever is not a finisher, but it's whatever. Well, she 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 created it like w- while the game was like done, so they couldn't really like add it in. I guess but they yeah. still they still have like a moon salt in for it, which like is okay. It's cute, like yeah, because before it was just like that really weird twisting splash. So. Oh yeah, the one. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Like yeah. Um. Oh, what did you think about, speaking of attires, did you see this online? I'm not, we're not talking about the match, who cares? Did you see mm-hmm. Jakara, Jackson, and Lash Legends? Oh, Lash Legends help out no, no M Dar. But they were wearing Barbie outfits. Yeah, ah! they were. Everything. Look who has a tag team backstage are everything. Want. This is what we want. This is what we want to see. I Sorry. Yeah. I live. They're such a <laughs> good tag together. team. I love Jakara's hair. Like it is just so gorgeous. And uh, if they yeah, ever put her into two K, really they need to make sure they get her hair right. She hasn't had a match like on NXT yet, though, right? She's like on that other NXT show that like level up. Yeah, I actually saw her live. She did amazing. She lost to Indy though. I don't know why Indy was on level up, but it's no tea. <laughs> just that fun. Just whatever. A tip and spot. A tip and number. A t- yeah, but I'm glad they, like, it seems like they're going to get, like, a little bit more of a spotlight now, which is great, because he has that spotlight. I don't know what he is. He's, like, that, he has, like, that trophy. It's not, like, a championship, but it's a trophy, right? I don't understand it either. I was watching for Dragon Lee, and he's always in, like, the tiniest little Speedo, and it makes me so bricked up. That man is so fucking hot. I hope he likes tea girls If you do, give me a call. Ugh. Send it in the DMs. He's so fine. So but anyway... Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Tiffany's the champion! Woo! Soundboard, soundboard. Soundboard, hold on, hold on. We're getting it. Exactly. After, like, I didn't watch the match until after you messaged me. Like, I watched it this morning. So, like, I was, me watching it, you could tell in her face, like, obviously because they know who's going to win, you could tell she was just like, like, wow, this is actually going to be my moment. She was Because she wasn't, like, that pretty little daddy's little rich girl, and she wasn't mean. She was, like, very serious. And you could tell, like, this meant a lot to her, so. It's always before the match, like, you can kind of clock it. Like, remember when Liv was looking like she was going to cry when she was about to win money in the bank? You know, crying, walking to the ring. (laughs) That's why I always, like, look up very closely on what they're doing. I'm like, are you crying? Where's the emotion? Give it to me. And I'm like, okay, it was definitely her night. I mean, the crowd was cheering for her. Like, I, I'm so happy for her. Like, she deserves. Do you think she deserved it? I don't even think that's a question. That's not a oh, question. Fully. Yeah, no, never a question. Perfect. I, I cried I think, she I think she earned it. She earned it more than she deserved it. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of earning things, do yes. you want to get to the Night of Champions? I think we can get to that after a short little break. Is there a break sound? No, but we can make one. Uh, let's do this. 
Is that, is that like the, the Disney thing when people like hug or kiss? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello, everybody. Did you like our ad break? Thank you so much. How are you guys doing? Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about Night of Champions. But before we do that, we just want to say that we are going to be at Gay Bash. <laughs> we are going to be at Gay Bash Boston. Sure, I am. All three of us will be there. So if it's you're not. in the Boston area and you want to say hi to the Triple Fat Girls, then come say hi. Onyx is performing. Me and Zane are accompanying. <laughs> we're, we're guests. June 10th. It is on June 10th. I will be performing. It's hosted by Jatox, who is another Gemini, two Geminis within Gemini season. Get with the shit. And there will also be performances by Cobra and Baby Tate. I repeat, Cobra and baby Tate. In the same show as you, that's fierce boots. Like at Road at Road Runner where I literally saw Sabrina Carpenter this month. Oh my god, wait, that that was the venue? That's crazy. Yes, literally. We she was about to come on and Max tapped me, enemy of the pod. Max tapped me and was like, <laughs> You're gonna be performing here next month. And I was like, Yeah. Oh. Also, speaking of enemies <laughs> of the pod, it will be my last, like, couple days in whatever you call America's, because I'm going to Australia for a month, so it's going to be like, I'm going from that gig, probably going to sleep in, because we're going to be hungover, then I go to the airport the day after. <laughs> it's, our, it's, our, it's our NEM send-off. True. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, we already talked about those bugs ain't no joke. You don't know what you're gonna get. I know, before we started the pod, me and Zane were talking about how giant the bugs are gonna be, and I was like, it'll be Is no tea for me. Is just walking up to people and be like... Do they have Do travel-sized cans of Raid at the airport? <laughs> well, you know what they don't have? They don't have, like, uh some of the they don't have dunkin donuts they don't have starbucks they don't have any of that i'm like how have you lived without dunkin donuts hash browns i'm like america dunkin runs donuts out makes sense but like starbucks y'all have a starbucks anyway they have them in like the big cities i'm like uh, is that why Rhea ripley is so mean <laughs> can you find out if the toilets flush backwards yeah also they don't have the same outlets so i have to buy another outlet for out of the yeah, country yeah. An adapter. I know they sell those at the airport. I'm like, what else do I have to buy? A butt plug. <laughs> 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 Anyways, let's talk about Night of Champions. It's called Night of Champions, right? I've messed it up a hundred times. No, you're good. You're okay, good. perfect. What? What was? Was Class of Champions another one? Yeah. Yeah. They were two separate. Clash of Champions is like when um, Molina and Michelle McCool unify their titles to become like the Divas title. Oh, that explains it why I was messing it up because I was installing old models. And I think that's actually in 2K23. I think there's a stage you can play as Clash of Champions. That makes sense. So, Clash of Champions. No. <laughs> I just made some fun of myself for not getting it right and I just messed it up. Anyways, Night of Champions was in Saudi Arabia and is in the Jeddah Convention Center. And before we talk about that, I just want to talk about the contract with Saudi Arabia and the attires that the women have to wear. So if you are a not follower of the laws and stuff that happen in Saudi Arabia, I'm not familiar of it as much as the next person. 
but when they perform in Saudi Arabia, the women do have to cover up, which is a good and bad thing. First of all, they have to cover up, which is, um, I know it's respectful, but I love to see gorgeous women. And uh, we do get a new attires for the girls. So it's like I don't a, see Rhea in all leather. Yeah, yeah. lace the <laughs> lace the booty out. Well, not booty out. Booty is covered. That is a but thing. Oh, but it's thick. It is thick, definitely <laughs> thick. And highlighted by latex. Mm. Highlighted for sixty nine seconds and the match wrapped. Oh, oh my god. We'll okay. get there. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that is, uh, and WWE does have a contract with Saudi Arabia and the convention centers that they do have to do a pay-per-view, I think, every year. And it's been, I want to say like five or six so far. They signed it a while ago. So I think the contract is going to expire soon. But from the selling out and how well it's performed, I'm sure they probably will re-sign something. But it's been sometimes a difficult process. It's a 20-hour flight. Some people can't perform there. I know MVP didn't go this year because of some religious stuff um, that went against... I don't, I'm not an MVP follower, so I just know he didn't go because of that. And I know Sami Zayn didn't go for a couple years because of that. So it's a whole thing. I don't know what's going to happen. But podcasting, I wanted to give you the information. So that's just a little a tidbit. Yeah, they've come a long way since, like, the first one. Well, they've had a few. I think this is, like, their fifth or sixth one, because the first one had no women's matches. Mm -hmm. And the second one had Natty and Lacey Evans, where they wrestled in shirts. In t-shirts. T-shirts. Full body suits with a t-shirt over it. And then the second one was Bailey versus Naomi, where they also wore short shirts, because Bailey used the shirt to hook Naomi's legs in and, like, fuck her up. Um... So wow. I think the, the, this is like the fifth or sixth one. They've come a long way. Yeah, I remember, I think the year that they didn't have the women's match was when Undertaker almost broke his neck with Goldberg, when Undertaker oh, almost yeah. literally died. It was so scary. Look it up. I'll post it on the Instagram and the Twitter, so you know what we're talking about. But Undertaker and Goldberg are old and old, shouldn't be wrestling. Old old. old, old. Old, old. And Undertaker gets put into a suplex and almost lands on his neck and literally could have died. He could have gotten paralyzed and died. Right. In, so. in a country that's 20 hours away. That's why. Hey, hey, everyone. Can we, can we talk about something that has nothing to do with anything that we're talking about really quick? Go ahead. That's what, what this podcast is about. Paralyzed? <laughs> I'll go for it. What's the segue? Did y'all see the Jeff Hardy match? <gasps> yes! Oh my god, he... Have you seen it, Zane? He's going out bad. He's going out bad, sister. The one in oh AEW? My... Yeah, did you not yes. see the clip? No, I didn't see the clip. I'll find it right now. Zane, it's bad. He botches... I, I think he was going for a twist of fate, and he literally just, like, falls out of it. And then he goes for a whisper in the wind... <laughs> Now, what just happened? That was such a crazy counter. Oh, shit. Wow. Like, bad. Like, he could have died there if he landed bad on his neck. Is he... Is he sober? We don't know. I, we'll honest, find, I think he sure just had another relapse. Because I remember everybody on the Twitter timeline, like, he left again, AEW again, and then he just returned, I think, recently. Because he had another relapse that sucks i'm like baby please we love you we love you as a wrestler but you do not need to wrestle anymore no, i know yeah. like he just needs to hang up the boot like i He's love him like he was my childhood like boot him yeah, and the hardy boys course. childhood like i like the uh, uh, like everything but mm. seriously for the sake of everybody i do not want to see you die in the ring so please hang up right. the boots. hang up the boots work on yourself listen the residuals from, like, the four companies you've been in has to be sickening, sister. Also, like, no shade to him. I, oh, this might be, like, I love him, but there is nothing in the ring you could top or do that is going to do anything that's going to ferment to what you did in the past. Like, you are, like, you're old, buddy. Like, I love you, but you're not going to do anything that's, like, crazy, insanely good with the state that you're in. Like, we just yeah. need to be safe. It also puts p other people in danger, so... It really does, yeah. That... I know it, we're talking about something also, else, but... 
Yeah, sorry. I sorry to bring it up. It, we were just talking about old men getting injured, and I was like, oh. No, what mm -hmm. were you gonna say? You said something else. Another thought. <laughs> oh no, I didn't have another thought. That was it. But don't That's I look like a thought? Oh. Uh. I got a full nail set on to podcast. Word. You like girls? <laughs> <laughs> That's a uncut, never recorded, but that was when me and Niall were at Niall's house, and Niall literally at the table, we were talking about, like, I just came out as trans, like, started taking my estrogen. <gasps> I had to take my estrogen pill. Anyways. Uh, and Niall looks at me and goes, do you like girls? And I went, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and then a wait, silence. Wait, do you know what that's from? No. Megan Thee oh. Stallion? Yeah, it, it's a meme. Um, Young Miami, Carisha, um, she's talking to Megan, and she goes, you like girls? Oh my god, yes! No, I've seen that on Twitter. You fuck me. <laughs> not me getting clocked you of not me. knowing the reference on the pod after not getting the reference in person. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, Niall is always the reference. You were correct on that one, sister. <laughs> Niall is always the reference. The blueprint. A T. Oh my god, she's the blue print. I'm the pink print. <gasps> Let's do this shit show. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, do we have any more fun facts? Uh, perhaps. <laughs> we have a couple. Uh, I just really wanted to talk about, like, set the stage of um, the Saudi Arabia, all that stuff. But they did have to take a 20-hour 20, 20 flight from the United States to Saudi Arabia. It is 20 hours. So, when we get into it, the Natalia 62nd match for a 20-hour flight on her birthday. On her birthday, Gemini. Oh, I can't. Well, we'll get into get her it. Her birthday present on her birthday. Her birthday present <laughs> was getting knocked <laughs> out. <laughs> like, damn. Uh, But yeah, so... Also, another fun fact, a little a tidbit, the triple threat tidbit. <gasps> triple threat tidbits or triple Booties. triple Booties. tidbits. Anyways, um triple bits. <laughs> the Raw and SmackDown championships are on the wrong shows still. Everybody was speculating that we were going to get new titles today or the pay-per-view. We didn't get them. We didn't get them. And it's still not been talked to they still haven't talked to, it's not been addressed by anyone. It's like the elephant in the room. I'm like. Crickets. <laughs> I don't know how close I can get to this microphone. Do we have a sound effect? There we go. <laughs> I keep forgetting we have it. It's a nice accessory, just like Tiffany's new accessory the belt. The belt, bitch. Sorry. Exactly. But yeah, that's like all I, I got. Uh, this was also Trish Stratus's first singles match in four years. Her last singles match was with Charlotte at SummerSlam oh, yeah. in 2019. Also crazy saying four years ago, 2019. I'm no. going to rip my hair out. But speaking of Trish Stratus, we'll talk about her match. So Trish Stratus's first singles match in four years. Last one was SummerSlam with Charlotte. She has not competed in the ring singly single lee she's usually in like the tag team or like a little cameo or whatever whatever but the match card was trish stratus and becky lynch what it, what were you expecting uh, hold on let's talk looks let's talk looks bitch because trish came out and yet another homage to herself oh with the thank you trish on the back with the thank you trish but also like the black and black pink the black and pink from like years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was an homage to her match with Lita as the main event on Raw back in 2006, 2006, 2004. It was the main event in December yeah. for the title. And, and she was a heel for that, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's where Lita almost died by jumping out of the ring and almost breaking her neck. Oh, yes. Team Extreme. No, literally. Also, Trish's attire with the thank you, Trish, on the back. The same... I don't know if it's just budget cuts at WWE, but it being the same font and style as the man. I don't know if that was intentional. I think it probably was because Becky Lynch's outfit kind of matched. It was like Kill Bill, but it was still like a solid bodysuit with a stripe. I lived. So it was, it was very much like villain versus hero. Yeah. The Kill Bill outfit was so good. Yeah. I feel like she could just wear that. 
any day. Any so day. it's a Kill Bill reference and not a Sandy Cheeks reference. Oh, lip service. <laughs> not chopping lips. Not the chopping lips. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's Sandy down. I, in the document, you guys can't see this, but I have a picture of Sandy Cheeks in this beautiful attire. I'll put it on the Instagram so you guys can see it. But I was literally looking up the pictures and that came up. I was like, who is the shady one that put this on the TL? <laughs> but yeah, what did you what did you think of the match? <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I'm just seeing this now. <laughs> um, it's great. Yeah, no. It's what I expected, honestly. I didn't Not you're just coming. great. Great gowns, beautiful gowns. <laughs> honestly, well, spoiler alert, that's how I feel about this whole pay-per-view, I think. But, like, it was a cute match. It, like, it, it was, like, ugh. it was a lot for 14 minutes, I will say. I don't know why this match was 14 minutes and the Rhea championship match was literally 69 seconds. Like, love them. Yeah. Love both of them, and I love what they did, but... There's a lot that could have been cut out. Yeah, a lot of it wasn't, like, super necessary. I think it was really cool she did, like, not only homage to her outfits, but she made, like, she came back with her heel moves, too. Like, the corner choke. Um, And then she did, like, the little bow, and then, like, Becky knocked her out. I think they had good chemistry. But I think people were expecting this huge banger. But then I forgot, like, oh, they're continuing the story. So, obviously, you can't have your best match now. You know what I mean? They're saving that for SummerSlam boots. Yeah. That head scissors to the outside, though. It was hot, yeah. They do have great chemistry. Oh my god, fucking um, Becky Lynch being careful, and, like, when she caught her legs in the stratosphere, and was like, I'm just gonna walk down these ropes. (laughs) (laughs) Well, maybe she was being cautious. Well, Well, she wasn't cautious enough, because Becky broke her nose, so I guess Trish didn't give a fuck. (laughs) Injured. Oh, what if that was a work, and they're doing a, a, a Becky... A Becky No storyline, like like the Trish No storyline. Okay, but riddle me this. Remember earlier when we said everybody that gets injured is getting taken out that had a tag title? Literally. <gasps> and then and then Lita got jumped by Trish. Trish is the one attacking everybody in the parking lot. Plot. Oh. Full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Trish in NXT, Trish versus Tiffany, I would rub it so fiercely. In the parking lot. Parking lot brawl. Backstage parking lot brawl. (laughs) (laughs) Please. Okay. I'm about to go load up 2K so fiercely. (laughs) (laughs) Work. Okay, so I did like um, Trish had a new heel remix. Theme song. Oh, yeah. And her little background is, like, more serious. Do you think Lil' Kim's getting paid for that? <laughs> she, better, she better be getting those residuals, sis. The... Work. If Victoria comes back, do you think she's going to use the Nikki song? You know Victoria's not going to come back. <sighs> I mean, she, she used it for a Royal yeah. Rumble. She did? I ain't the lady to mess with. Go! Oh! 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 I love that song. <laughs> um... What do you think? What do you think of the finale, though? Like the end of it. In the room, who the fuck was talking to Zoe Stark? Who added her to the group chat? They really love Zoe Stark in WWE. Girl, I mean, like, they they love her. Like her she's first a solid feud, wrestler. first she's feud wrestler. being with Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus. She is a great wrestler. Love that for her. Love the opportunity for her. I'm just so confused as to where like. Where did they pull this from? They're like, you know what, Trish and Becky? You know who has history with both of them? I don't know, but let's call Zoe Stark. It's very much like um, veteran and rookie kind of thing. Like, oh, I'm going to take you under my wing. So it kind of makes sense. Because, like, who else was she going to have? Dana Brooke? Yes. Opportunities. Opportunities. When Dana Brooke was a heel with Charlotte and that protege storyline, that was everything, honestly. Becky feuded with you. You could have had Piper. Ooh. Piper would have made. Oh, Piper wouldn't. So, yeah. That, that makes me so sad. Damn. Now that you said that. I'm just saying. Well, <gasps> what if Piper gets fired? No. no. Nah. 
They need Piper. When we do a, when we do a impromptu on the scene live firing live stream podcast, because that day is going to be we're, wild. We're in the parking lot. It's we are in the, the parking, parking lot, lot. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there. I um I don't know how I feel about Zoe Stark winning. Like obviously, who would you prefer besides Piper? Like who could you see like fit that? Because Raw's stacked right now. Raw has a you lot know, of girls. You know what would have been really sickening? And it would totally de- defeat the purpose of, like, bringing a rookie up, but then Becky could have worked with one, whatever. If, if it Ashley was... came back to life. No. <laughs> oh, baby. Baby, I'm betting on that every Monday and every Friday. <laughs> Don't play with me. But, no, if Lita came out and Lita was working with Trish the whole entire time. Yes. That would have been Bunty. I don't like. Or even, yeah. or what, even like somebody else from the Hall of Fame, like Tori Wilson or like. Victoria. Yeah, one of the old school girls. That would have been like sickening. What if Mickey came out? I'd gag. And and she hit Becky with her. Oh, does she she doesn't have the belt anymore. Damn. No, mm-hmm. she just, she has an injury. I don't know if it was a work or not, but she's injured. No, it was a full injury. The injury was to get her back into WWE. Did Mickey have <laughs> the tag titles? <gasps> <gasps> she held it backstage in the parking oh! lot! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, so let's let's wrap a bow on this match. I think Zoe Stark has a great career ahead of her. I'm not a stan. I do like where it's going. I think she did look good, too. Like, the motorcycle jacket, the turtleneck, the jeans. I think she looked good. She looked great. Uh, excited to see how it shakes down. I think it was a great, like, f- great way to, like, write the match so it can keep going in a SummerSlam without us being bored. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. That's the, the whole bloody nose thing adds to it, too. Yes. Oh, it's okay. like the whole, it's the man thing happening all over again. It's just going to make her look stronger. Yeah. So you're saying that Nia Jax got. isn't gonna come out? Um, bitch, that would have been. Oh, instead of Zoe Stark, I would gag. That would have been wild. Okay, see. But and then they wasn't. they play her music a little too early, like they did at Royal Rumble, and we're like, wait. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move on. This match was cute. Whatever, whatever. Uh, if you didn't watch the match and you're listening to us, the match was 14 minutes and 50 seconds. Zoe Stark interferes with the match. The referee doesn't see it. She hits her finisher, the cool little flippy flip, knee to the face on Becky on the outside. Trish is distracting the ref. Trish gets the pin on Becky after doing a shit kick after Zoe rolls her into the ring. And the match ends with Trish winning. She didn't win the shit kick. She won the satisfaction. Oh, she did. Yeah, that's my bad. And that's... Is that how... How did she break her nose? Or, like, was it the Zoe thing or was it the Stratisfaction? I think it might have been the Stratisfaction when she, after Zoe kicked her, because I guess maybe her nose was, like, already fragile and then the slam to the mat. But that's all up for speculation. We don't even know if she's injured right now, but from what I've seen online. Speculation. Ooh. Do you just say ejaculation? (laughs) Speculation. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, moving on to the next match of the night. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's keep it keep it pumping, Queen. So the next match, that was just... That was for no title. So if you're a podcast listener, no title. That was just a feud, whatever. We don't get a lot of those. I was actually surprised we got a no feud match on top a of no these. Title. Like a no title feud? Yes. I'm happy we did. Yeah, finally. I know, literally. I mean, God forbid they do it without a legend. Like, they usually throw right. in, like, Lita or Trish, and they're like, let's do a cute little feud. It's like, you can do that with some of the girls in the roster. Hopefully this leads to, like, other things. Yeah. I mean, if... Mm, whatever. We'll, we'll move on. So, a huge controversy about this match. We'll talk about it. We'll break it down for you listeners. Raw Women's Championship match... Asuka defeats Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship, clocking in Bianca's reign at 420 days, ends the (laughs) reign. This is her first loss in 420 days, a singles match loss. Adam Pearce produced this match. I know a lot of people are giving him flack online because it was not a great match, in my opinion, as well. Did not really like it, but I I did enjoy the finish. I thought it was unique. Unique! (laughs) But... 
we have a new Raw Women's Champion. How do you feel? What's the tea? Be nice, Zane. We have a new Raw Women's Champion on SmackDown. They're Let's both on SmackDown. <laughs> They're both on SmackDown. I love this match. I love that match. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was cute. It was fine. Like, all the matches were just fine. Yeah. I feel like Bianca deserved to lose her a better match. Like, the finish was perfect. The finish was perfect. It was actually really cool. Yeah. But, like... It was smart, yeah. It was smart, but I feel like she deserved... As, like, a Bianca stand. I feel like she deserved to lose in, like, a bigger match. Yes. Like, I think a lot of the problem people are catching online is that there was no hype of this feud. There was no build. It was only the pay-per-view matches. And for, like, Bianca to lose this monumental reign being the longest reign of the current era to something that wasn't super hyped up, like... I'm just speaking, I don't feel this way. Like, I just, I'm happy Asuka, because I'm like, in my heart of hearts, I don't think Asuka is going to get another title reign after this. I think this will probably be her last one, because Mama is 42. No, I don't that. You don't? I think, like I said, I think her and EO have the tag, t- like, tag titles down in the future. Hold on, wait. How old is Asuka? 42. Age is just a number, baby. Look at Trish. She's doing it. How old is Trash? Yeah. yeah, but not like Oscar. Shut the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching the fabulous Mula and Mae Young come out there in their granny panties, so like, she's fine. Well, oh, there's yeah, a reason why fabulous Mula is dead. But, but also, like, oh, Mickey, Mickey James was, was like still wrestling and shit like that, so why the fuck not? Well, I'll no, that, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, Asuka's wrestling ten times better than like... Is that why she dresses like that? Ha! Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Is that why Oscar dresses like that? She's forty-two. Like her, like her civilian attires are like. Oh wait, like, that's actually a really good point. She's like, well, you didn't have to say it like that, <laughs> right? Right. Why she dressed like that? Like, damn. Is that why she dressed like that? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like the build up was okay. Like I wish they I wish there was no space in between WrestleMania and that and this one. Like if they like solely built Asuka as a a heel like for the past few months, that would have been great because it was just like, oh, this is in three weeks. We need to do something. Right. Well, it also made it very obvious that uh Asuka didn't win at WrestleMania so Bianca could like have that uh record right plus i feel like it's like more about the blue mist than anything it's just like constantly blue mist and every I'm, promo. sorry i'm so glad you said that because i was thinking while i was watching this match i'm like what are we su- oh, hold on give it up for them everybody give it up for them <laughs> can you believe oh. this has nothing to do with the pod but you believe this is what was back in the day 2017 eyeliner up to here blue Oh, you, you are the literally. original blue mist. You are the original. I was the blue, blue mist. mist. I am the blue mist, baby. Wait. I am the boom boom mist. Well, let me get that video of you running. <laughs> oh my god, that is such a good video. We have to put that on the Instagram. Okay, anyways, I think Jeez. for getting back to the match, this I think it was a great. This is coming from like I love Bianca. I love Asuka. I'm not trying to tear anybody down. I think there's a lot of flack and a lot of. I think there's such a popularization online of people tearing down some of the other women just because they like the other woman. Like, I think we can praise Asuka for her win, but not shit on her. Like, I think that's just common sense. It's just insane to me that people are like, and also because they're both people of color, people are being racist and gross and disgusting. Like, you don't have to take it there. It's wrestling. It's also a script. They didn't right. decide that. They're employees. So it's like, that's just like my little rant on it. But I think it was a great way to write Bianca out of the title because obviously the crowd was turning on her. Like, very Cena back in the day. Everybody compares her reign to John Cena, how everybody turned on John Cena. Bianca was getting booed in Puerto Rico. They wanted Io to win. They wanted Asuka to win at Mania. They got it now. Everybody's just going to have an issue. It's always an issue. 
but I think it was a great way to write Bianca's strongest. She still lost to a technicality with the eyes, mm -hmm. so it doesn't make her look weak, and it also sets her up for the future. And also, she gets a nice little fat break because she deserves it after being literally champion for the last, like, five years on SmackDown, Raw, now SmackDown again as the Raw champ, whatever. <laughs> Can I say something? Go ahead. Um... Obviously, like, after the whole EO Sky match, like, this one falls to comparison, because that match was all main event WrestleMania match quality. Right. Like, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's really fucked up that Asuka had that legendary, like, streak, and no offense, every time she wins a title, it is, like, due to technicality. Like, she had to cheat for this one. Um, Becky Lynch gave her the money in the, like, oh, you won the money in the bank, I'm pregnant, here's the title. Um, okay. Like, every time, um, I remember... What is it? Her, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair in a, in a ladder match. Ronda Rousey pushed the ladder and pushed Charlotte and Becky Lynch off, and then she had climbed the match and won the title. Oh, you're she, you're onto something. She is an amazing wrestler that is a force and like is scary, and like she always wins the title due to a technicality. Like what the fuck? And then she loses it in the dumbest way. Okay, podcaster. That was everything. Concise. Why? Why are you building Oscar up like this? I don't know. It's very bizarre. Do you remember also like when she had her feud with Carmella and she would always lose to technicalities as well? Yeah. Oh, she got hit and they hit her with a fucking steel cane. Girl, look we'll at that in the next pod. I can't. That oh, yeah, was so right. funny. <laughs> like what? It was so. Yeah, I can't. That's actually a really good point. I don't know why they do that. I mean. There are a couple of reasons probably we can chop it down to why she loses to technicality and they don't build her up, but we're not going to get it into just, that. It like, makes her look weak. Right. Yeah. After spending so much time building her up every single time. And can like, I? She, that's not what she deserves. I'm, well, I'm going to let you get one second. Um, I just need to finish this. Because she was the workforce during COVID. TV every fucking week doing everything tag titles championships dumb feuds choose and like that's like that's how you repay her that's how you're treating her now i don't know it was just weird no you can go sorry <laughs> that weird money in the bank match that took place at the wwe we, where dana thought she won <laughs> we need to cover that in depth decipher the entire match that is such an iconic match to me i don't care it was so funny it's a it was. fever dream it was so good so um i just want to ask really quick i was watching this match what what do you think in the canon of wwe kayfabe or what of uh what is the blue miss supposed to be like is she are we supposed to think that she is producing this out of like her own glands does she have a water bottle somewhere where we can't see it? It's a water bottle that they do off screen. Um, cause to um Tajiri used to have the green mist. Um, so she has like the blue mist and stuff like that. So it's just like it's not like toxic or anything, it just like blinds you and distracts you. So it's like just like a really like um it's very like Japanese thing to do. Well, because the great Muda did it as well. Yeah, yeah, that too. So, like, um, they're all paying homage to each other because, like, in their scene back in the day, Great Muda... You know there's a white girl that uses it right now in AEW, but... Whatever. Is there really? Um, the, the the gothy girl that's, like, she's part of, like, the Black House, she uses, like, a black mist. She's kind of cunty, though. She has, like, one black eye and one, like, regular, and then she, like, comes out to this gothic song and, like, sings it. She lip-syncs it, so it sounds like, she, it looks like she's singing it. She's cunty. Um, she's the one that, like, kind of stole Alexa Bliss's, um, Twisted, Twisted Bliss. That's interesting. But, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, it's just, like, a mist that, like, blinds you. Like, also, speaking of that, are, are we not, are we just gonna, like... The referees, like, after the match, like, they're literally agonizing in pain after they lose a match, like... Because they are blinded. Are the referees like, oh, I'm not going to say that was a disqualification because I didn't see anything. But obviously something happened because you're covered in blue. <laughs> like, what? I don't... I'm not sure what it is in the can... I think you raise a really good point. What is it in the canon of WWE storyline? Like, obviously we know it's water. Right. And I could make a well, very I funny joke here, homage. but... I don't know what it would be. Like, I guess it's supposed to be poison, but like poison 
kills people. Like poison. I don't know. Girl is poison. Yeah. Um. She poison. <laughs> she blows the mist in her hands, and she blinds Bianca and wins the match. Good ending. It was honestly a really good ending. It, it was, was such a solid ending. ending. Yeah. The ending was great. I I, I got also, like. Yeah. I don't like, think... smile with, like, everything. If the makeup looked great, like, it was perfect. Also, speaking of the makeup, did you know she does it herself? She does it! She does it! I literally saw that the other day. I gagged. I was like, oh, that makes sense. If the girls are doing their own makeup, it makes sense why fucking Rhonda looks like that. Sorry. Sorry. No, you know she, she has a makeup herself, artist. Though? You know what huh? she does to herself? She doesn't dye uh-huh. her hair. Um, excuse me, she updated it for this match because you DM'd me that and I texted her. I said, Asuka, fix your hair so Zayn doesn't <laughs> clock you on the pod. <laughs> it gets faded, girl. But no, like, good for her. Like, it's honestly iconic, especially for wrestling. Like, you have to be a great makeup artist to wrestlers' makeup because that shit comes off. Like, so pop off for her. That's good stuff. What? Like, okay, I'm not even like an Asuka stan, but like, what can't she do? She used to be a video game developer. She made right. video games for Nintendo DS. She's a mom. She owns a she owns a store back in Japan. Like, she owns a full ass like empire. Like, she has her own store and like sells stuff with her family. Like, she's what a wrestler, she sell? huh? What does she sell? I don't know. Homes. <laughs> <laughs> She sells her Nintendo DS game that she won't open to the public on what it is. I don't know why. I couldn't find what game she made. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, everything. Nintendo dogs. Yeah, but, I mean, so I, I literally gagged. When they posted that, I was like, wow, that's iconic. But anyway, I, was, I haven't been this gagged at the end to a match in so long. Like, I was literally like... She used to golf? See, Jack of all trades, love her. I literally just looked this up, and it's just her golfing as a queen, like in her twenties. Love that icon. The, yeah, she really does the most. God. She's also and a she gamer. Literally... She loves video games. Stan, She's, doesn't she like do her own like YouTube stuff too? Yeah, she plays like all of the video games and stuff. Like, what an icon! I can't. She's, She's coming the raw women's champion on SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> how would you, how would you rate this match? Bad. Sorry. One one out of ten. What, what you get, Manette? The ending gives it a solid plus four. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say six. I yeah, I was literally about to say six or seven. Like just for the finish. You could tell, I think literally because Bianca was upset. Like Bianca like was like Oh, Damn. Yeah. Like I have to lose my title. Like, not that she wasn't gonna put on a good show or whatever, but like you could tell that she was like shit like probably i don't know how long ahead they probably announced this to her maybe even before she went out but like she's probably like damn i don't want to lose my title like this uh, i mean i think anybody would be that way so probably that was how well the way that the match before and the match after go i feel like a lot of it was just like thrown together so if they were like I feel like it's not out of the realm of possibility that last minute they were like, hey, you're also losing this title. Yeah. They also might have, like, just, like, because obviously the crowd is turning on her. They probably just wanted to, because Bianca's a moneymaker. Like, they probably just wanted to just reserve her. So, like, they're like, if we push you anymore, they're going to turn on you and we're not going to, like, be able to profit off you anymore. That's honestly a smart way to look at it. I never thought about that. Go ahead, Zane, with the facts and the the Honestly. statistics and all of the histories. <laughs> okay. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia pussy. That's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Okay, so should we move on? Oh, the attires. I loved Asuka's. I love Asuka's look, yeah, finally. Oh. Right. <laughs> Why'd she look like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but her attire was like one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, I lived. I, it was like very patchwork. I love like patchwork shit. Like it kind of gave me like um like voodoo doll with the way she does her makeup too, like scary, like scary oh. voodoo doll. Mm-hmm. Like how it was like patchworked and like kind of grungy colors. I lived. I lived. It was yeah. And the way Bianca probably made this attire and its skin tight fits perfectly, I can't. She knows her size. She you know. can also do literally anything. Yeah. 
Like, this match should have been so good. I know. Well, it also sucks because, like, I think the EO match was better and, like, I don't know. It's, like, hard to follow. Yeah, no, we, we were fed with that one. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> On to the next. I mean, there's not a lot to talk if about. We have but... to. <laughs> if we have mm. to. So as we let me let me wrap up the match before. So obviously we said before Bianca loses the title to Asuka. The match ending was that as um, Zayn said, Asuka blows the blue mist after she missed it in the earlier part of the match when the referee was distracted. So she misses the mist completely, but this time she puts it on her fingers. Uh, Bianca goes for the. KOD, and while KOD. Bianca's doing the KOD, Asuka rubs the blue mist that she put on her fingers on Bianca's eyes. While Bianca is distracted and distressed, Asuka hits her with a couple kicks. And I think that was it. She pins her there, right? It, she punt kicks her in the back of the fucking neck. <laughs> oh, they were good. Like, Bianca oh, yeah. is gonna sell the Boom. house. Boom. So it was a I, it was a really good ending. But congratulations to Asuka. We we celebrate you. We are so happy you're the champion. And I hope you have a great reign because you deserve it, Mama. Well you done, really Mama. Do, please. Also, like as a obviously as queer people, I just want to say this. They are fully covered, their entire bodies. Some of them are wearing leather and full faces on makeup, hair done, doing 15 minute matches. We are doing three minute numbers and we already sweat the house down. Falling apart, falling apart. So like good for them for wearing all this and still looking as good as they do because like, God damn. Because yeah, Asuka's literally wearing satin or velour. That shit thick. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway i just want to say that Good of course of course them. let's go on to the ma next match so this is not a long match so if you watch the pay-per-view you know this is a one minute and nine second match this is a squash match between smackdown women's championship it is rhea rhea <laughs> Can Sorry, she uh, just lose the title so I don't have to say her name on this fucking podcast? You're literally going to her country in Australia. I'm going to where <laughs> she's from. I'm literally going to Adelaide. Please, please don't mispronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're going to say something on it. I was debating whether or not I was going to call Casey up for saying Australia was a country because it is a country, but I feel like they might consonant. So I was just going to let it slide. But you called me out, so I said it. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> speaking of Rhea, Sunshine, Ripley, we're going to talk about their match. <laughs> so it's Miss Ripley. I'm going to call her Miss Ripley, so I don't fuck it up. Or should I say, what do they mommy. say? No, I'm not calling her mommy unless she pays me. That's too much. I hate the straights, like, like doing all that. I'm like, stop, please. I think she started that. I know, but, like, I hate the, like, straight guys on Twitter, like, I'll be your mommy, let me, like, uh, stuck on your, blah, blah, blah. like, stop, please. I know I'm, like, that. literally yeah. just gasped over Austin <laughs> I'm allowed asshole. to do it! I'm allowed to do it! Women's stories matter! <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Fuck, like, I just, okay, whatever. Anyways, so, it's a match between Natalia. Natalia's been in the industry for 16 years between her and Ripley for the SmackDown Women's Championship. The match clocks in at one minute and nine seconds. After a 20-hour flight, Natalia flies all the way there to lose in a minute and nine seconds to Miss Ripley her herself. Birthday. On, On her, her birthday. birthday. Your thoughts? Let's talk about the looks. So, <laughs> my thoughts on the match? Let's talk about the looks. Um, Rhea, Rip uh, Rhea Ripley's jumpsuit, catsuit, um, kind of everything, latex, chains, but it's also very... Something that we've already seen from her. Is this? Which, like, I don't want. <sighs> Go ahead. I don't want to harp on it too fiercely because she's she's great. Like without attire, like she's more than what she wears. But at the same damn time, sister, you are the champion, and like you look hot no matter what. We know we know you're gonna look hot, but something. And with that being said, Natalia, while it was so cute, and I love black pink. I love black and pink together. It's obviously like a heart family staple, but it also looks like something that she has worn already. The beret was giving though. 
Rhea, um, she wore this exact um, outfit at Elimination Chamber for the last Saudi Arabia, Arabia show. I knew it! I was so gonna write that in the now? notes! So what am I supposed to do now? So what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Nem literally wrote on- I'm holding the mic right now. Nem literally wrote on, on the outline, both gears look recycled. And guess what, Nem? You were correct. <laughs> Applause for that of me being a podcaster and realizing I knew, I knew this was recycled and I couldn't, I looked up last year and for whatever reason, I didn't think it was, but I, I knew this was recycled. I, I'm going to, I'm going to take a step back and not freak out, but like, yeah. I'm, I can I understand Natty's because like she literally right. lost in one minute and nine seconds, but you are Rhea. You are the champion. I know you have money to pay the designers. Okay. Mm, to be fair, if I was Rhea, I'd be like, I've worn this outfit once in my fucking life. And the only time I can wear is Saudi Arabia. Girl! Like, she wouldn't wear it. So but, I would have I would have done the same thing, maybe. Okay, but Mary, we get clocked for wearing the same damn thing. And we're drag queens working at the bar for one dollar sometimes. We are Lizzie McGuire. We are outfit repeaters. We are, but like, oh my god, you're on TV. You're one of the hypest stars. You're over in two goddamn companies. They were talking about Rhea and Dom in AEW. Like, I would have been satisfied if the top was purple and the pants were the same, but we've seen this top before. Like, a top, you, something, something. You, you could literally argue you don't need to spend that much money as the champion and you could still pay some or go to Forever 21 and get another top and you look fine. I'm with it. I'm we I'm wearing hey. accessories from Amazon and this is not a recycled outfit. But like she doesn't update anything about her goddamn look and she is always she's being photographed. She's on red carpets. She's in press conferences. She's wearing the same mommy shirt that she got from the WWE shop for 24.99. Girl, what are you spending your money on? And I'm not one to police someone's Asian money, but God Asian. damn it. Right, right. That's the thing. Like, wherever you want to wear whatever, but please give us some kind of variation at least. At you, least. You guys better hope at Money in the Bank, <laughs> if she doesn't come out with some goddamn green attire or something else new, I'm going to be, oh, this podcast is going to be hot. Living. She yeah. still looks hot, though. She still looks hot. No, she does. That was never the question. That was never the question. That, not, not only is that not the question, that's part of the problem. Because she knows she's going to look hot in whatever she puts on. That's part of the problem. And then it could be more of a conversation, too. Like, oh, my God, this looks so much better because she looks... That's what we said at uh, Backlash. We were like, oh, my God, new attire. She looks so fucking hot. And we were living for her, even though her reign hasn't been great. But... <laughs> Natty looks fun, though. been great. I did like Natty's beret, yes. fur, and glasses she came out with, which were, I know she, is that, I think it's a new beret. I know the picture is low quality, but I think it is a new beret. No, yeah, I think it's a new beret, too. I think her thing is, like, berets now. Look oh. at that. Berets. Variations. Blue mist. Tires. Blue mist <laughs> and now berets? Oh, they want to be me so bad. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. That's a joke. Oh my god. Some people don't get my satire and I'm the bitch. Satirical girl. <laughs> Watch. Next someone's gonna come out with a Charlie Hyde song. Girl. <laughs> I hope you don't have any clips of that for the podcast Instagram, because that I will not be posting. <laughs> oh, you know what I totally do of Kelly rolling around. <laughs> Kelly rolling. <laughs> Kelly rolling. It's Nem and Kelly Rowland. What kind of faggot runs around in a Christmas sweater? <laughs> she has a point. And she has um, the moment. Yeah. So, what happens in the match? Dom distracts Natalia. I think Natty says, Dom, can I get your number or something? What? I'm, a, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I think Michael Cole on commentary says... Oh, Nat Natalia just tried to flirt with Dominic. Oh no, they um it was the it was Adam is who who's the other one? Corey Graves, the like heel one. He, he was like making shit up. He was like, "Oh, he was she was trying to flirt with him. She got distracted." It's not, like just like being a heel guy. Oh. He was just distracting her and reattacked her, hit her outside, inside, and then just hit the riptide like it was nothing. For what? Else other than Natty. Like why? 
I'm could not, have I'm not easily fully volunteered. Could have easily been Dana because they had a match on Raw. They could have just had Natty come in DQ. Oh my god, that would have made so much sense if they just had Dana. I just don't like no shade to Dana, but like. I, I think she needs to run with the comedy thing. She was a 24-7 champ. She just needs to be... Like, run with it. Jillian Hall has it a whole so entire funny. career yeah. based on jokes. Alicia Fox's captain gimmick was a joke. And she has an illustrious career. So, like, I would just... I, I know she doesn't have a say in the matter, but... Squash matches at a pay-per-view. I don't... Yeah. I think, honestly... Maybe people went over time. What was the main event? It was Sami Zayn, Roman, Bloodline. Oh. Bloodline of, again, a fucking again. Even yeah, apparently though, it listen, was... Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, leave it to WWE to make me sick of seeing Roman Reigns. Because when the, first of all, Gemini, second of all, that's a man. Wait, sister. wasn't the main event Seth Rollins winning the heavyweight championship? No, that opened the show. But also, like, did you see him in the leopard that print? That opened the show? Did you see him? Ho hold on, hold on. Did you see him in the choker, the leopard print, shoulder padded, cheetah print, and then he got his nails done? him in everything. Mm -hmm. I need him to have an Austin Theory moment. Please spread well. Actually, he does have amateur wrestling, like soft core prawn videos. Work. And I saw him shaking <laughs> that, his little booty I, the other day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be fierce. Oh, our group chat's gonna be fierce, Mama. Well I'm done, look, Mama. I'm about to look this up, baby. It's a different. Well done, Mama. It's a different. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different name. Like he has a, literally a softcore prod name. I'm like, oh. Oh, I'm gonna find this out. Yeah, I don't. I know just want to find out the names. Anyways, let's wrap up this because it was a squash match. So I Zayn said it perfectly. Rhea attacks um, Natty for talking to Dom. Then Dom and them have a celebration after they pin Natalia clean in one minute and 29 seconds. There's a fly in here. I almost shit my pants. Um, so <clears throat> match ends. Miss thing. Podcast. <clears throat> Podcast. I I topped in Seth Rollins prawn, and it honestly brought me like the Pornhub first. The very first video is learning China and X Pac versus Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins mixed wrestling action WWE 2K23 on Pornhub. <laughs> What? Who uploaded it, baby? Viral videos, visions. It has seven thousand views. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you mean Nemesis Lacroix uploaded it? <laughs> okay, let's. Okay. I'm gonna wrap this up. We're gonna get out of here. So, thank you so much for listening to Triple Threats, a podcast dedicated to ins and outs of women's wrestling. I am with my good friends. Hello, Onyx Zane. Any last thoughts before we end this out? Um, I'm excited to see what happens next. Um, I'm not this... because they keep on treating the women like shit. They treat Natalia like shit. They're treating Oscar like shit. Oh. Like, Rhea hasn't gotten a new tire. Bianca's reign is over. And, but Trish is back and she is so good as a heel. So we have something. Agreed. Good. Sending. Um, manifesting Liv coming back for Money in the Bank and or SummerSlam. Yeah, let's all say um, a prayer for Liv. Earth, I'll say a prayer, but no tea, no shade. I am rooted. Earth, <laughs> I started playing that tea. The power of three. Wait, okay. So we're going to... we? No, we'll talk about the next one. But obviously, um, rooting for Selena. Rooting yes. for Selena for Money in the Bank. Yes. We're excited for Money in the Bank. Money in the Bank is on June 2nd. We will definitely be podcasting. If you didn't know, we do have a Instagram and a Twitter. We just made an Instagram. All of our social media for extra content is at new triple threat. Every other at was taken. Every podcast, I guess there's 500 podcasts named triple threat. But we're the drag ones. We're the gorgeous ones. And we're the stunning ones. So it's at new triple threat. N-E-W on all social media. You can see what we talk about in the pod on Instagram and you can see some of our tweets and updates on Twitter. And 
we are shying away from patreon we are going into youtube subscription so if you want to see any bonus content we actually talked a lot of bonus content today and it was really funny and really good and kiki and so you can go subscribe for five dollars on youtube if you'd like to do that you can see all the bonus content everything behind the paywall and you also get some subscriber badges and emotes over there and you also get discounts on merch if you join the discord with your subscription oh i hit myself in the face so all that bundled up into one but we will be podcasting on july 3rd whenever we can record right after money in the bank our thoughts opinions and everything on that so look out for that and you can follow all of us and our social medias dedicated to figuring out when updates for triple threat come out so before we end this out i know we just said our final thoughts but what should we say goodbye what are we what are what are, what are we doing next um you can catch us all at gay bash again true 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 June, please June, if you want to say hi to us if you come up to us with any reference to triple threat we will literally gag i love when people come into my twitch chat while i'm streaming and make a reference to the pod people will come in and talk about uh, the necklaces about the red carpet it literally cracks me the fuck up so funny i i just it warms no my heart because i was talking about it on my stream the other day and like i love you guys and i've always loved you guys and this is like my labor of love for the year the year before this it was doing streaming more the year before or last year was to do um some more youtube exclusive content and this year is podcasting and i'm happy i can do it with you guys and i love you guys because this is how we kiki and we talk the podcast is how we all catch right. up like because we are always working so to hang out we need to make something that we're working on together so we can hang out and kiki and cut up so i love the podcast and i love my friends so hi are we gonna battle at in 2k soon I know, yeah, we, we have, have to hang to. out and do that. We should do that when we go to Gay Bash or something and record it. Oh yeah, T. So. Wait, if you guys want to crash on my place. Boots. Um, will you let me in? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that answer will be concluded at Gay Bash. <laughs> Goodbye, we're gonna close it out. <laughs>